What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ for November 23rd, 2011. College Hockey Special. It's usually College Hockey Monday, but there's some delays and technical difficulties. It's College Hockey Wednesday. Going to do a little bit differently and focus on just teams out east, uh, predominantly Merrimack and, and Boston University, because that's all I want to talk about today. Uh, it's one of those days I'm calling the shots. I'm venturing from the norm and do what I want to do because, hey, it's my show, right? Uh, but anyway, Merrimack, number one team in the country for the first time in the program's history. 6-0-1, uh, the last team undefeated. They've been the last undefeated team for about two weeks. And uh, they're great. I, uh, I really like what I'm seeing from them. Great goaltending. Uh, a good one-two duo of two former Boston College High School Eagles uh, and Murata and Kanata. And I was just thinking about Murata the other night. Um, not his current Merrimack uh, teammate, Mike Collins, and big fan of the show. So Mike. Uh, scoring the big GWG against them in the uh, 08 Super 8. That was awesome. I remember that game pretty well. That was uh, one of my favorite CN games over the years who've been a fan at. Uh, it's a great game. Anyway, back to Merrimack. Uh, obviously won the NCAA tournament the first time in a long time last year and uh, got knocked out on a tough one uh, to Notre Dame, a team that went on the Frozen Four. Um, and, you know, the sour taste in the mouth. And they came back and, you know, they're looking up. You know, build upon the success they had last year, but it's not what you've done in the past; it's what you're doing in the present. And they're really showing that they've a, they're a great team, and they can, uh, you know, they can make some moves. And it's what you got to do, you know. Uh, building upon success is a big thing. Uh, like I said, the more success you have, the more you're gonna be more of a draw to potential recruits that may not get the initial look from a PC or BU. But if you can get those set, you know, those second tier guys, if you will. And you can get success from them. The top guys are gonna come, you know. Uh, BU's obviously established a pipeline from the development team. You know, if Merrimack can start raiding that, you'll get the high end guys. You know, they gotta rebuild that arena. It's kind of a you know, work in progress, if you will. I haven't been up there in a while. I heard, I heard it's better than it's than it's been in the past. But you know, get those guys, get a better arena, and your hockey's powerhouse perennially with the BCs, the BUs, the UNHs, the Mains. You know what have you? So, it's all about. You know, you got to think for the players. They got to think about the present. You know, cause you you play in the present, but you got to think. You know, long term, what the ramifications of your success are. You know, um, a few good recruiting classes here and there. You're on you're on par with the BC and in the, the BUs of the world. You know, that's what that's what ultimately what your goal has to be as a team that's perennially been a you know second tier team in hockey East. You got to make the jump up to the you know the top of the mountain, if you will, and uh, it's fun to watch as a as a fan of hockey and a fan of college hockey in New England, seeing the team make the necessary adjustments to become an upper echelon team. You know, it's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, back to a perennial powerhouse we shall talk about. Uh, BU got to go to the BU UNH game Saturday night. Thanks, Garrett. Got to see him and the boys before the game. What's up, Plenty? What's up, Matt? Good to see you guys. Um, hell of a game. I loved it. Great 60-minute effort. Uh, you know, got to see uh, a good, good scoreless first period. Good goaltending from both from both uh, BU and UNH. And then uh, the Terriers taking a one up lead in the second. UNH tying it early in the third. And a team that's had its ups and downs all year, with like BU. You know, how how do you react? And uh, they came back, scored three unanswered, including a hell of an empty netter by uh, Maddie Nieto, which uh, it's pretty pretty sweet. Three quarters. Three-quarter length shot, if you will. Uh, found eyes. I thought it was going to be an icing, but I think just popped in, and it was pretty cool to see that. Um, and, you know, I got to see another thing I like to see is uh, if anyone was going to score for UNH, I got to see the first collegiate goal of Trevor Van Riemsdyk, uh, JVR's younger brother, who, uh, you know, is going to be a good player. If he's going to be on par with his brother, I doubt it. His brother's a hell of a player, number two pick in the draft uh, in 07. He's turned into a preeminent power forward in the league. Another great college hockey alum that I had the privilege of watching play at the collegiate level um, a couple, on a couple occasions, having great success at the NHL level. And that's one of the great things about going to these college hockey games is so many of these kids are going to be in the pros within three or four years. It's awesome to see the development process. But uh, back to the, the game on Saturday, I loved it. I thought, um, you know, I liked what I saw from Milan turning aside rebounds and you know making it one and done for UNH. And I thought the... Uh, it's a good, good officiated game. Uh, obviously, as, a, as an official myself, I like to see that. That was uh, a couple of missed icings here and there, but you know, you you, you, you live and learn with with uh, with on ice officiating. As uh, I've done a lot of 
I've done a lot of living. That's not too much to worry about that shit. But, uh... What else do I want to say? Oh, B, I'm going to preview the BU uh, Cornell game. So we're going to talk about the uh, Red Hot Hockey down at Madison Square Garden this weekend, Saturday, against Cornell. I was supposed to go, but my flight situation kind of... My dad's going to be there. My dad's going to hold on the fort. I went the first two times in... Uh, you know, seven and oh nine. It's a it's a great draw. Um, the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. It's a it's a great place to watch a game. I'm sure an even better place to play a game. Uh, I, I can't say enough good things about it. It's a great. Um, New York's obviously world class city. That goes without saying. You know, they have the college game on the biggest stage. is is amazing. You know, uh, you think of all the great players that have played. You know, hockey and basketball there. You know, it was originally a boxing arena, uh, Madison Square Garden. And just the great events that have taken place over the years, it's, it's awesome to see, uh, you know, see, see hockey be played there at the collegiate level. Uh, I'm trying to think. Wilson, I saw Wilson play his freshman year there. Uh, then two years ago, I think who was who was a big draw that year. I know this year's junior class at BU was freshman then. Um, they were the reigning national champs that year. I, can't, I don't remember. I remember they tied in 07. I don't remember too much what it was nine. Uh, I'll just look it up. But like I said, it was a great game and a great experience. You know, that's uh, privileges like that. Don't I mean? I know BU isn't playing in a holiday tournament this year. I think this is you know on par with that. You know, uh, you're playing a city, 16 million people on that city's biggest stage, and you get to um, you know, show show the world what you what you can do out there. Uh, not too much else say on the power play, kind of a Monday and a uh, rainy Wednesday. But uh, anyway, I'll keep you guys posted. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and uh, see everyone when I get back to Florida. Actually, I'll do a couple of shows Friday or Saturday. Uh, Spoon it later, guys.